All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Feeling quite lazy and groggy today, right? Uh, didn't sleep till 1.20 a.m. last night. Because, uh, was watching, uh, was watching more Tarkov on Twitch, you know, with Summit playing. He's actually the, his play style is like the most realistic one that I like. The other people I like watching tend to be very reckless, and it's just not how you're supposed to play Tarkov. Because uh, it's um, well, it's too expensive, and until you die a lot. In my case, I want to try to avoid doing that. Mm. I have the vitamin C chewables on, so because uh, I gotta avoid that coronavirus, right? Because I went to um, Target yesterday to restock on food, so you never know who has something, you know. <clears throat> but anyway, I, I I actually found someone when I was doing my hatchling run where someone he didn't kill me right off the bat. It was actually pretty cool. I wound up dying when I was like teaming up with him in the game. And then obviously you take the dog tag and then he actually friended me. So it was actually pretty cool. We had a nice conversation. And um, I'm now thinking, yeah, this is kind of like God trying to like help me get over. Because in this game, I actually I still have fear in the game, right? Especially with the gunshots. Like, uh, see, I, re I really am getting older, man. I'm becoming a boomer, right? Gunshots are now startling me. Right, I mean, it did back then, but only because it was loud. But in Tarkov especially, it can get very loud. It's like, oh my god. And I don't like, I don't like getting spooked like that. I actually don't like getting spooked at all. Which is why I also don't like horror films, right? Like Saw and stuff. That shit gave me serious PTSD for like three days. I actually went 48 hours without sleeping. After I watched Saw 1 and Saw 2, because I was so, like, scared of Jigsaw. <laughs> so, obviously, I got over it, but it's like, okay, that's enough for me. You know? <laughs> like, what's funny is, I'll fear something like that, but I won't fear God. Right? So, I guess, in a way, I really do fear Satan. You know? Like, people are always like, oh, you should be afraid of God. I'm like, no, he, he inspires hope and love, like, not fear. Right? Satan inspires fear that is who i'm afraid of because i don't want to be anywhere near that guy all right because he's going to lead you he's going to be because satan's going to lead you to hell that's where he is all right whether he's lord of hell or he's burning an eternal punishment for rebelling against god all i know is you don't want to be around him because if you do you know you're you're you're, you're fucked <laughs> so you want to avoid that so speaking of getting fucked um i'm glad i I, I guess, I, I mean, I was so, like, tilted from Trump's corona response that I forgot to tell people that you should not be shorting, right? You know, even though I was expecting things to go down. And this is exactly why, too. I also forgot to mention that there's always a dead cat bounce after such a dramatic swing downward, or even upwards, too. It's called a bear trap or something. But the only reason why that happens is because if it goes down a lot or goes up a lot, it has to go the opposite way the next day or so. And that's what's happening today. So if you shorted, you're you're you just lost a shit ton of money, and then that, and then that's why you don't day trade. But we'll get to that in a second. So anyway, yeah, I oh I forgot to finish my point. I also should stop touching my face because of the coronavirus shit. So I got my okay. That we'll do it this we'll do it this way. I'm actually not sweating, so I don't have a fever, but I, I just want to like touch my face or scratch. So that's why I gotta use this tissue right here. This is what's nice about working at home. You just have your makeshift uh, stuff here. <laughs> hmm. So, um, yeah, so went to bed, only got like five, six hours of sleep because I, I had too much energy because I, I, I didn't, I chose not to exercise yesterday, so I, uh, I ate a little too much food. I probably wound up gaining like a few hundred calories the past couple of days, so, you know, now I'm back on the, uh, you know, um, Let's let's burn more. Let's burn more calories and keep losing weight, uh, kind of thing. Yeah, so it's like I had excess energy. So yeah, um, what you want call? But yeah, I think I I, I think I uh, I'm gonna change up my diet a little bit. So now I'm cooking two meals, but my my last meal is actually six sausages and egg substitute. It's actually very low calorie. It should be around like one slice of like reduced fat cheese. Actually, each slice, like, they, they ran out of Target, so I got the next best thing, which is, I think, provolone cheese. I forgot what it was, but it only had 60 calories a slice. So, good enough. 
All right, because the reduced fat one has 50 calories. So, you know, try to keep my daily calorie intake to 1,500 calories a day, but obviously eat a lot of um, protein, you know, feed my body, all that stuff. And I'm going to be lifting weights today too. So, you know, we're going to be bar we're going to be burning away like all the extra shit that I had the past couple of days. Mm. So that's going to be good. It's going to be good. Anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for last week is being modified to 10. All right. So uh, Google's still uh, adjusting the results. They don't even have anything for this week yet. Today's Tuesday. We should get something probably by tomorrow. Uh, Bitcoin dominance is at 64.1 percent. 24-hour hour volume is at a modest 151 billion. Bitcoin is at 81.28, which is a recovery of 3.76 percent. Um, also, notice this is why uh, you can't really use cryptocurrency as a hedge against markets. Because look, the Dow, the S&P, Nasdaq, pretty much all the equity markets in the world are going up, and so is cryptocurrency. So that right there already tells you. Yeah, it's not a hedge. Like, don't believe, don't believe it when people say it's a, it's a hedge because it's not. Again, it's all based on human emotion. People will literally do whatever the fuck they want. There's no rationality to it. In fact, when everything was going to crap yesterday, even gold went down in price. Everything went, li everything, literally everything went down. That is why technical analysis is bullshit. That's why day trading is bullshit. It's all. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. You're chase. You're chasing Satan. You're chasing an illusion. Like I, I can't believe I have to constantly say this because people still don't listen. And then Mike Sarovich's timeline, um, you know, I had the same problem too. Like he was retweeting a bunch of retarded trade day traders that were constantly giving uh, shitty investment advice. And of course, you know, Mike emphasized how stupid it was, right? So, but it just goes to show that it's just like. You know, it just, it never ends, you know. In fact, even if I become a multi-billionaire, which I know I will someday, right, you know, maybe 10, 20, 30 years, right, and I'll have all the money in the world, it's like, okay, here's how I did it, just go from this step to that step. Most people still won't follow it, just like Jesus told people, okay, go do this, here's some of this stuff, and then just, you know, whatever, and then that's how you get to heaven, and then everyone's like, no, that's okay. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I don't know how much easier I can make it for anyone. So, uh, well, like Jesse Lee Peterson said, you get what you deserve. So if you don't, you don't want to listen to the right stuff and think long term, well, that's on you, man. And you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose uh, everything. And more importantly, you're gonna miss out on you know the money gains. Hmm. So anyway, Litecoin's at fifty one fifteen. So it's up 3%. So, all right, it's not too bad. We're getting some recovery here. Uh, still pretty way off, but, I mean, it was a pretty steep drop. So apparently the Dow went down, like, what, 2,000 points yesterday for a drop of 7.6%. Right now it's up 2.75%, 656. Ah, GBTC finally opened up in the markets. Okay. Yeah, so everything's going up. Um, I should really chew on this chewable, so hmm, let me just do that real fast. Um, actually, before I get to my thing, let's just go through and finish this. Dog coins at 278.5 million basically, market cap. So, yeah, it's a decent amount of green, some higher than others, not too bad. And of course, Steam cryptocurrency is just going kind of on a rampage essentially, it's at 21 cents essentially. It's up 6.94%. So, looks like the whole fiasco of Justin's son and steam is over. All right, so everything's back to normal. Going to be making uh, some good steam. I really want to buy steam, but again, I have to wait for Litecoin to recover versus steam so I can buy more steam for cheap. Uh, right now, I would just be paying a premium on steam. So, it's going to pass for now. Um... So, all right, so according to Yahoo Finance, uh, stocks and oil prices are jumping after Monday's route because of Trump's proposed stimulus package. So when, I know it was last week, right, when the Fed announced a half a percent interest rate cut, right, which was a surprise move, it didn't do a damn thing to move the markets. In fact, normally it's a very positive thing, especially because it's a, a surprise move. 
right? At least that's traditionally how it's always been. Uh, but that trend broke last week. So again, people are just not having it. Like this, this coronavirus crap is really problematic. And especially now that we know that America is just like the response. The CDC is deliberately letting people get infected. And it's like just horrible, right? But I, I kind of understand why they're doing it because uh, 80% of the time it does resolve itself. So, uh, and then 10% requires uh hospitalization so basically they're just saying you know what let everybody get infected and we'll just treat that 10 10 20 percent the problem is if everybody gets infected in america we don't have enough beds to handle the uh the uh extreme amount of influx and I've, apparently google's been throttling uh, coronavirus videos in my case i i still get the same amount so it doesn't even matter so uh i, I mean also my shit's kind of small so i don't think google really the algorithm even really cares now, if I started put, peddling out, like, dedicated conspiracy theory videos about coronavirus, then, yeah, I'll probably trigger the algorithm. But, I mean, obviously, I just don't whatever, so, you know, it's not an issue. SEC bans employees from Washington office after virus, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, so some people in Washington, more people are getting infected with the coronavirus in Washington, D.C., so... Uh, so now they're ordering uh, the government, at least SEC, is ordering everybody to just work at home and stay at home, which is f fine with them probably, right? Because, oh, okay, my commute to work consists of going to the bathroom, and there you go, now, now I'm at work. <laughs> so it's a, we really should be doing more, uh, what is it called, telecommuting to work or homework? I, I forgot, that was a term. I think it's telecommuting from home. But yeah, more people should just work from home. It's fantastic. You actually get more work done because you because the because you know how much time you waste going out and about, right? Thirty to sixty minutes to get to work, then thirty to sixty minutes back. Everyone's angry, everyone's stressed. But when you just work at home, you just work in your pajamas. You don't have to worry about anything, right? And 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 that level of stress is not there. So, like eventually, when I have my game company, an entertainment company, yeah, we'll have an office and stuff, and people could chill in and there. And you know, in fact, I'm gonna make my thing like an awesome castle thing. We're gonna have bunk beds. We're gonna have sleeping quarters. We're gonna have like the whole nine yards. In fact, my, I guess, the founder president's office. My office is gonna be like an apartment. All right, it's gonna have a sink. It's gonna have a bathroom. It's gonna have a bed. Right. So you know, if I don't want my wife to you know be by herself at the house, you know, with the kids, just have her just drop by the office and you know we'll have you know my office um maybe i'll have two beds because maybe because apparently i do snore <laughs> so you know uh but you know, the, you know it'll be nice and comfy right you know because hey it's my kind i can do whatever the hell i want right so what do i always want well i hate the corporate structure i don't like the corporate environment so you know what we're gonna have something like what google has right bean bags for everybody you know it's just well the way I like it. Plus, we're a creative company, right? So we need a environment and, and color in the office so that you know it promotes cr uh, mental creativity. Sure, we'll have high IQ logic stuff, of course, but uh, again, we're not a corporate entity. We're not. We, we don't want to be like Blizzard Entertainment or, I guess, to a lesser degree now, uh, Electronic Arts, where you know we're very corporatized, right? Um, I mean, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure they still have like bean bags and stuff at EA and Blizzard. But the problem is, they're publicly traded companies, and like all they care about is the money, which I understand, right? Because you're a multi-billion-dollar company publicly traded, so you kind of have to make money. Uh, but I mean, it, it it's so maybe corporatize is not the word I'm looking for, but it's definitely rigid. Um, I don't know, but. It doesn't. They don't feel like a real game company. They just feel more of like, yeah, here's a, here's a, oh, it, yeah, they feel like an industrial factory. You know, here's a, here's your pre-made frozen food section. Here you go. That, that's really kind of what it feels like. And of course, we love frozen food. That's why we eat it and buy it. But it's still not good for you. And you know, the quality is not exactly high up there. If you take my meaning. All right, so Warren Buffett, don't panic about coronavirus. Normally, I don't like Warren Buffett, but, I mean, he is right here. So, yeah, you really shouldn't panic, but don't be like those idiots that just say, oh, it's no concern at all. That's just retarded. Just prepare and just be a little more defensive, that's all. And, like, don't go out. You don't have to, right? Because the more people that don't go out, the faster we'll get through coronavirus, right? Because 
hey, the virus can't spread if there's less people to spread it to, right? Because if because we fuck this up, we're gonna become like Italy, where they're shutting down the entire country now, right? There's like mandatory quarantines for everyone, and they have like cops in the street to, you know, enforce it. All right, you can only you can only in Italy you can, right now you can only go out if you're going to work. You got a health emergency. I forgot what the third thing was, uh, but obviously it's uh, something important. Um, I don't know, they didn't mention anything about grocery shopping, but I assume people have to go out for groceries, so, you know, and it's probably something like that, and that's it, you can't do anything else. There's no large gatherings, there's no parades, there's no nothing. Oh, and that's the other thing, too. The reason why we ha we're going to solve the coronavirus problem one way or the other, despite, you know, conspiracy theories, is because we can't have large gatherings. Well, if you can't have large gatherings, guess what? You can't have your bitter, your bitter feminazi global warming marches. You can't have your pride marches. You can't have your women's marches. All the stuff that the evil globalists need to like constantly push their evil agenda, they can't do it because of the virus, right? Because nobody's going to go out if they know that they could get infected, right? Now, obviously, some states in America are still crazy and they're still having like marathons and shit and festivals. I think in France they were having their annual Smurf uh, Smurf festival. I didn't even know they had that. Oh, it's it's the French. They they always have some weird stuff. Um, actually, hey, you know what? I I need to look this up. Smurf France festival. I don't even know what it's called, but let's see. Record breaking gathering of Smurfs held despite coronavirus. Um, let's see. This is Entertainment Weekly. Okay. Uh, March 9th, 2020, and then here, yeah, see, look at all these people, the French are crazy, man, the French are really crazy, but hey, you gotta give it to them, too, like, they don't give a shit either, so, uh, I mean, I guess they want to make up for World War II, right, because everyone thinks they're just cowards that surrender, at least that's how, that's how the stereotype goes, uh, I'm actually gonna add this to my quest text in my game slash show because France actually would be playing a pretty critical role in uh, the beginning part of the game, at least story wise. So, French gathering of Smurfs. Here's the link to the article. Um, right now, I'm in my Chrome email account. I gotta write down this idea while I still have it because this is actually how you write a good script. Um, you know, Quentin Tarantino spent decades on all on most of his scripts. Um, and as he said in an interview, they come from God. So bur I call it bursts of inspiration, but it's the same thing that, you know, uh, all great writers have this uh, same talent. It's just, it's just common sense to do it. Like, you just know to do it. Uh, so you just write, you write down everything, and then later on, you gather all your notes, like I'm doing now with my... I wish... I still haven't copyrighted the title, so I still have to wait, so I can't use the real IP yet, but... Yeah, trust me, it, it'll be good, and it'll get even better because it's not quite anywhere near what I wanted to be. I mean, this was supposed this was supposed to be meant to be released in my fifties, sixties, not when I'm you know in my current age. So, French gathering Smurfs would be funny to poke fun at the Frenchies with. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. Um, actually, maybe we'll make the name that, uh, uh, oh, I forgot to write a mid coronavirus outbreak. Uh, so, so yeah, it'll just be like a, like, it'll, it'll just be like a nice fun little side thing, you know, to add, you know, to add more character, you know, because because obviously I don't want the, you know, like any good show, you don't want like the whole thing to always be so serious, you know, like why so serious? So, <laughs> French gathering of Smurfs. Uh, so I don't know, we'll call it, I don't know, what will I call it in the show? Like. Oh, the annual French blue, the blue people gathering, right? Because I can't use the word smirk, because obviously that's copyrighted, but obviously that would be the hit. So anyway, things are going up. It's not the end of the day. Uh, we'll see what happens with the Dow, but for now, today is basically a reversal day. However, I'm still not entirely convinced. Uh, people will be breathing a sigh of relief, but... I don't know. Again, I'm just going to stay put. Like, I want to buy, but I don't feel it's a good time to buy. Even though if all of you decide to buy right now, it's actually fine. Mm. Excuse me. I make sure I burp so I don't get hiccups. 
right? Because you're still getting stuff for cheap. In fact, how much is MRRL? Uh, well, eleven dollars. Right, it's eleven dollars. I think yesterday it went drop down to like eight bucks or eight fifty. All right, if this thing became like a dollar or two dollars, you essentially have a three hundred percent dividend paying stock. <laughs> All right, yes, two three hundred percent dividend paying. All right, it's it's crazy. Oh yeah, an expense ratio is really cheap. That's also why I like buying investment products from like really large companies like UBS, because then, uh, because of economies of scale rule. Right, their expenses are cheap. That's why I'm going with Azure PlayFab because it's Microsoft. Right, they have like hundreds of billions of dollars. Actually, they're probably worth almost a trillion dollars. They can afford to provide Mike, uh, provide someone like me free services for very cheap because they have again economies of scale because there's the because they have like I don't know 10 million people out in the world doing exactly my thing. So all that combined makes them a lot of money. So. I get the benefit of like really cheap but good quality service and Microsoft gets the benefit of like just making more money right that's a good that's a that's a good example of the free market at work right obviously a bad example would be you know these same companies basically trying to flood us with you know illegals <laughs> so you know you, you take what you can GMC coins at four to five uh, well since today's a recovery day I'm expecting all cryptos to be uh, at least in our case to be down a little bit 404 is still pretty stable at 5 to 6 um, for a foreseeable future. I don't know when we'll do the coin swap. Uh, I've already made up the specs for the new version of 404 coin. I gotta wait for Mitch to get back to me and ch uh, take a look. He actually told me that Germany is like rock solid. Like right now in Germany, everybody gets tested. Every it's all free, right? Or essentially free because everyone's got health care. Um, they ha everything's clean. Everything's got like the signs. I might have mentioned this yesterday, but basically, no one's got, no one's died in Germany from coronavirus, so that's good. And uh, everything's pretty much pretty stable in Germany. Like you don't hear any problems in Germany. Uh, meanwhile, here in America, we're like, yeah, we're not going to test uh, anyone, so whatever, just just let everybody get infected. <laughs> it's like, who's really the first world country here? You know, it's or who's the who's the third world country? You know, or the second world country? It's like, well, what's going on here? So, uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, two by two coins, sixty four or sixty eight, so it's all doing pretty steady as well. Uh, compound coins also doing pretty well, sixty three hundred, essentially sixty two. Yeah, 62, 63, no, 60, yeah, it's a little, 62 to 6,300 Satoshi of a dog coin, upwards to, I guess, a little under 7,500. Uh, yeah, as usual, it's more towards the sell side, so, you know, usual, usual. Now, I didn't even bother looking at the news articles, but to be honest, I don't think I really care, because, uh, again, it's all about coronavirus and just waiting and see what happens. Um safe haven yeah so it's more of the same old same old here uh let's see i don't think daily hold all has anything here i agree uh ripple don't care uh I don't, okay that is a i do like this thumbnail so we'll use that as a thumbnail uh sit tight da, 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 blah, blah, blah. oh whoa, whoa, wait uh, stock and crypto trades disgruntled as robin hood struggles to stay online during massive market movement um Oh yeah, I guess their servers went down. Uh, Legit Bitcoin, other. Oh yeah, Paul Gosar. I should actually cover this. So he's actually in self quarantine because he actually has possible coronavirus, or I think they said that he does have it or something. No, he's not showing any symptoms, but he might have it. So he's in self quarantine. But he did actually propose uh, the new cryptocurrency act of twenty twenty. I'm not going to read this because I already saw this on Twitter. Uh, also, Paul Gosar is a good guy. I'm still not a little. I'm not, still not too thrilled that he's a little harsh on China because everyone's harsh on China. But these same people, they're not criticizing a certain country that cannot be named. I mean, so I, I get kind of annoyed with that. But I, I kind of understand it too. Like, <clears throat> and I thought he does follow Nick Fuentes. And he, he can't not be ignorant of, you know, what we're referring to. So I, 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 think, he, so I, I think he could be trusted, but... Just a little worried about because again, as I mentioned, I keep mentioning it. I mean, Roosh V kind of talked about it too, but then I actually had to push back a little bit. Let's see. 
So yes, this is the coronavirus basic, uh, basic don't, uh, corner CC, don't be racist. That's a, I actually support this because, as I replied here, and I'm kind of annoyed that no one even liked her or whatever. Funny enough, a lot of people have clicked the profile here. Uh, you know, we actually have black people here in New York City specifically targeting us Chinese and Asian people. All right, they're actually beating us up. All right, because they think we have the fucking coronavirus. So you want to avoid people, that's fine, and you should be doing that. You should be avoiding everyone, not just like, you know, like you should say, oh, the guy's Chinese or Asian, let's, maybe, let's avoid them. But then you go right, running right into all the non-Asian people. They're, they might, they're just as likely to have the fucking coronavirus as the Asians. So you're really not doing yourself any service except, uh, you know, pleasing Satan. So you shouldn't be doing that. But again, just don't be violent assholes about it. So it's, it's like... You know, the reason why we have liberals in the world is because of stuff like this, right? This is, you know, like, you know, I don't want to bash Roosh too much, right? Because he's still trying to come out of his thing. But there is a reason why liberals exist, why uh, Christi Christians and conservatives lost their ground uh, justifiably to a large degree, apparently, based on my research now. To the left right that's why they lose everything all right it's not black and white it's like there are reasons for this all right yeah on the one hand we can't go too crazy with the virtue signaling but the flip side is don't do the complete opposite either which is why we always will have this cycle all right because yes we are being specifically targeted because we are chinese all right and that's not cool all right i don't have the fucking coronavirus at least as of i guess yesterday because i went to target so who knows but it wasn't it wasn't my fault, you know. So, yeah. But anyway, um, yeah. I forgot where I was going with all that stuff. But yeah, it, it's what it's. Uh, you know, it, it it is what it is. So that's why I'll I'll get famous. I'll get my game slash show out, and then we'll deal with it. And then you know we'll see what happens. Uh, but I will say that I didn't realize this is kind of an issue too, right? The media is more than happy to report on CPAC with the coronavirus, but they don't mention that APAC also that had just as much risk. Like they don't mention APAC at all. Uh, that seems kind of important to mention, don't you think? So I don't know. Like if they're trying to protect APAC, I don't see how they're protecting them. Like they need like <laughs> it's like, hey, this is a virus. Everyone needs to kind of know about it. You know, and everyone needs to be reporting on it. So, yeah. But anyway, this is... Oh, now I remember. The original reason was to go on my Twitter. Uh, uh, let me see. Oh, yeah. I totally would love to ask her out on a date, too. Also, she actually works in Newsmax now. She left OANN. So, I suspect she's actually realized, you know what? There are a lot of fake grifters uh, at OANN, right? And oh yeah, it has like some beautiful hot white girls too. Uh, but I think she's actually pretty cool. Um, you know, she definitely seems very Christian. And on top of that, she used to be an actress too. So like she and I would get along very well. Uh, no doubt. She, um, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, people are really buying a lot of toilet paper. Um, this this is one of the co-directors of Hoaxed. Uh, so I actually met him at the last Night for Freedom that I did with Mike Sturmich a couple, uh, must have been a couple years ago now. My God, it's been that long. Uh, super cool guy. You know, we talked about filmmaking a little bit. Um, so really cool guy. Really good Christian too. Uh, oh yeah, what do you say? Toilet paper aisle in rural town Canada. Bulk food aisles are still packed with food. Talk about putting the cart before the horse. I'm totally okay with it because I got plenty of toilet paper. In fact, I was like, why do I have so much toilet paper? I don't even need it, you know? Because uh, when I went to visit my mom and dad, they actually had a bunch of free to Scott's toilet paper. So I managed to just take it like several months ago. Yeah, now I know why God told me to do that, right? <laughs> but yeah, when I went to Target, all the food was restocked. I also am smart enough to go during the week. The work day monday through friday i do avoid friday because that's a lot of people take time off or they get off work early and then uh yeah all the food was stocked i was like all right but nothing was on sale because everyone's buying up all the food so <laughs> i still had to spend like 110 bucks well yeah i got I, I got a lot of food so i don't care and i restocked from sausages and egg substitute this time i'm not making the mistake i have a lot of egg substitute now 
Um, so President Trump has not been contested for coronavirus, according to Stephanie Grisham. That's the spokeswoman for White House. Uh, and it seems insane not to test him, especially since he interacted with people who had direct contact with CPAC infected. It's like, this is insane. It's like, <sighs> even Mike Pence said he's not tested yet. I mean, that's as of, that's as of yesterday. It's, it's insane. But anyway, hell yes, I make all my short-term money in Bitcoin altcoin mining. So Gosar is in self-quarantine due to coronavirus, but he's still working. Uh, in fact, he just introduced the Cryptocurrency Act of 2020, a bill that my team has worked on over for the past few months. Oh, there's a thread here. By providing much-needed regulatory clarity about crypto, we will make it easier for businesses, institutions, and blah, 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 to participate in this growing industry. No more murkiness, uncertainty, or confusion. Yeah, a lot of the problems I'm experiencing now is because they don't want to deal with the United States. This is a really big problem. I cannot make the money that I need because I live in New York State and I live in the United States. So having something like this will solve that problem, right? I'll still move out of New York, obviously, move to Tampa, Florida, but um, I forgot what restriction there were. I I can't remember. The most important one is coin payments, though. Uh, some exchanges will not work. They'll work, oh, Binance will work in the United States, but they are not open to Florida State either. So like, it's a real problem. Um, let me see. I think it's at the bottom. Uh, FAC? I think it's under FAC. Um, restricted jurisdictions. <clears throat> New York and Washington State. So it's a real problem. We really need this. We really need this. Uh, uh, yes. Yes, this is true. Yes, this is true. I'm creating uh, a game and it'll use blockchain tech and crypto for microtransactions. Big opportunity money. And I have restrictions because crypto, because world crypto businesses refuse to work with New York or USA. Big hassle and problem. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll actually do this. So this is really important. Like this is actually, like it actually has a neg direct negative impact on me. Okay, so I don't know why Twitter is so laggy. Crypto offers a way for a forgotten and oppressed people to participate in the global economy. A beacon of hope, which is true. That's what happened. That's exactly what happened to me, right? Well, I've already said the tale. I took $500 and I turned it into six figures with Bitcoin. That's all I did. Uh, beacon of our hope. The U.S. must be part of that growth. Uh, crypto act of Toyo can now have with the expertise and guidance of Marshall Hainer. I have no idea. Oh, that's... Um, Let's see, Shapeshift, Eric, and six others I follow. Uh, let's see, who's him? Economic analyst, zero hedge. Oh, that's why I did not. I did not unfollow him. Okay. Uh, Tom Sawyer. Okay. And of course, you'll, see, this is why I always get annoyed when people don't respect me. Look at who fucking follows me. All right. You know, I'm like, you know, no, no, you're not supposed to do this, but it does get annoying. All right. Normally, I don't really shouldn't care, but I just get annoyed because, you know, people don't take me seriously unless I show that. It's like annoying. And this guy's also a good guy. I'm a little suspicious of him, but, you know, on the other hand, he does at least know what he's talking about. So, you know, I'm not going to throw, uh, you know, trash talk on him. Plus, that's also pretty impressive. You know, he made more money than I did when he was, you know, 15. Me, I was still getting bullied in high school and chasing girls because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Also, it's because I was I fell away from God, so of course I didn't know what the hell I was doing. <clears throat> and that's why I, uh, I was suffering. Through careful deliberation and impact industry input, blah, 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 would signal the U.S. is open for business. Yes, we really need this because without this, the United States falls behind and China will be the leader in cryptocurrency, followed by Europe. All right. And it won't be so bad for the world, but I mean, you know, America could, you know, at least just pick up the pace, you know. From space, space flight to internet, the U.S. has always led the way for new tech to emerge and thrive. That's actually true. 
you know, Russia was the first one to send the rockets, but we are the ones that ultimately made it, you know, our, you know, made, made, made space flight, you know, our thing, right? And of course, the internet belonged to us, essentially. And then, you know, cryptocurrency has got to be the next thing. The U.S. is the most fertile soil for budding industry. The crypto should be no exciting. There's a world going to create an environment where bullies can work for the American people. I always fight for crypto to show that time I try to get it more. Every person you care about the livelihood because you should look at the ability. Now, what's interesting is uh, now what's interesting is you know globalists know that this is kind of a problem for them, but on the other hand, they also haven't been overly hostile towards it yet, right? Because right, especially a lot of other countries are like just pro blockchain, so we'll have to we'll have to see how this goes. We'll have to see. But anyway, um, as long as Gosar is an honest guy, he's not like a crazy fake Christian. You know, I, I think uh, I think he'll be all right. So uh, yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good. Um, that's my thumbnail, and then that's pretty much the the the, the bill. So thirty six minutes. Well, so much for a short, a uh, short video. Anyway, um, actually, uh, I kind of like this thumbnail, but maybe we should use the Gosar one. Hold on. Uh, Paul Gosar. Uh, which one were we on? There's like a million of these. All right, you know, I think it will actually make this. I mean, this is actually probably going to be the more. This is actually the most important story part of this, so I, we'll make this a thumbnail. Plus, this is a low resolution thing. It's in the format that I don't like, which is blown up through the whole. Now my nose is running. So anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page, so you could. Uh, just go to the channel. <laughs> yeah, see, see, I had to switch from YouTube to BitChute, then BitChute back to YouTube, and it's just like, <sighs> right. And now I'm also thinking ahead, like I can't make my game, and I won't, uh, overly political, because I still want everybody to kind of play it, right? You know, but there's gonna be enough stuff in there that should alienate the rotten, freeloading, parasitic assholes like the socialists and the commies. I'll just literally consume all the resources of my game all the servers bitch about everything never pay into this into my system right never pay into my game they'll always turn on ad block even though i ask them not to turn it on and then when i for enforce it through like you know block ad or whatever it was the website's called right and then they'll find a work around it and then you know they're they literally are parasites and then they'll constantly bitch up on my forums like you need to remove the auction house you need to remove microtrap everything needs to be free and so it's like i get so why don't you just do uh you know cosmetics and it's just like just just get out of my game just start, unfollow me on everything unfollow me on my twitter and just just get out you know it's like i don't need that kind of toxic gaming asshole uh, piece of shit attitude so um you know see that's the real toxic gaming i just wish like if we actually had honest journalism that's what they would be attacking but they don't they just want to attack white men white people and men in general and of course ultimately conservatives and christians but uh the you know right now they're just going after men because you know men are pretty much the bedrock of everything so if you have weak men then you'll have then you don't have a country anymore that's why we're having so many problems uh but you know we're putting a stop to it so Anyway, uh, during three day or night, uh, it's only 10, 15 a.m., so it's too early to eat. Uh, maybe I could actually just lift weights, but, man, that's really, uh, it's pretty, uh, uh, I don't know. I'll think about it. Actually, yeah, I probably will try lifting weights. So, anyway, during three day or night, stay indoors, stay safe, you know, uh, don't go out unless you have to, right? And then, uh, yeah, watch out for that coronavirus, man. Uh, that, uh, that crazy stuff is, uh, just making people, uh, upset. All right, so anyway, see you all tomorrow. Thanks. Judson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. Uh, if you want to buy, today would probably be an okay day to buy. Me, personally, I'm just not going to do anything. I have no idea what's going on. This thing could easily go back up or back down. Uh, it's like a 50-50. Um, again, it depends on what people are feeling like. And number two, wow, RF is at $11. Man, there's so many discounts. Yeah, you would get a pretty good discount if you decide to buy today 
But anyway, I've already kind of tapped out, and the thing I really want to buy, Steam, cryptocurrency, is already so expensive now. Uh, yeah, it, it's already expensive for me. So it's like, ugh. All right, meanwhile, my Bitcoin and Litecoin and, you know, other crypto is, uh, yeah, it's still in the middle of recovering. So it's like, ugh. But if you have cash, yeah, you could probably buy, uh, buy, buy a little bit, do a little more dollar cost averaging, right? You know, Mike Sternwich has been spamming on his timeline too, and he's right. You know, you should be doing dollar cost averaging. That's the smartest way to do investing because this is a marathon. It's not a sprint, right? Don't be like to, uh, like, like that guy in my bitch shoot comment. I haven't heard back from him since where he's like, hey, he's going down. This is all a scam. Everything's corrupt. I faked this shit. I also downloaded your video. It's like, so I can't say the F word. Fucking community guidelines. I really hate it, right? Right, but he's acting exactly like the F word, and it's like, all right, uh, okay, you just, just, just go away, just go away. All right, all right, yeah, I turned five hundred bucks into six figures, but I still had to wait and methodically build my eight hundred eight coin stake carefully, like clockwork, and I did because literally every seven point seventy five days or eight days, I've got oh eight point oh eight days, I immediately recombined my blocks and set the set my little profit taking to cryptopia when i'm still around all right so you know it's it's a process you know but oh i don't know people ugh, whatever just people people don't want to get rich they they just want to like just i don't know they just want to do stupid things see you all tomorrow thanks johnson chan jmc coin 404 coin. Like I said, buy if you want to. Do dog cost averaging. Today's a good day to buy. I personally will be doing nothing because I am because I kind of want to play greedy and buy at a lower point. But if, it, if I don't get it, then I don't really care because I'm still waiting for the bull run. And we were in the middle of a bull run, but again, coronavirus hit. So now we have to wait. Stupid. We have to wait out stupid coronavirus. The good news is. Paul Gosar is still working hard on the Cryptocurrency Act of 2020, so once we get this shit out there, the uh, United States should be open for business, and I personally should not be having any more problems with crypt from the cryptocurrency back end, because it's really annoying dealing with all these restrictions, right? You know, I, I, like, I actually need the free flow of money so I can, like, support, in this case, my company, my game, and ultimately America, right? If I can't make money, guess what? I ain't spending money in America because I don't have anything to spend, all right? So, you know, you know, like help help us out here, right? And obviously Gosar is like, yes, we will help you. Hopefully other people are gonna help them out too. And and they are, they will. There's more and more people, both from Democrats and Republican side, do actually want crypto. So it, it'll happen. I just hope that it'll happen a lot sooner. Uh what else? What else? There was some there was one other thing too before I end this. Um Oh yeah, just wait it out. Um, uh, see, I'm gonna hit the stop record button and then I'm gonna remember and then I'm gonna get mad. Well, I'm not gonna get mad, but I'm just getting a little annoyed. Oh well, I forgot, so yeah. Uh, buy or not buy, it's okay. Whatever you do, do not sell. That's the, I didn't say this yesterday, but I, would, uh, but, uh, I, I don't advocate selling. However, I did say you could sell if you wanna take, I didn't say the word gamble, but it is a gamble. You could sell and then expect more downturn but that's still dangerous because if you're wrong yeah you just completely screwed yourself up like when i say sell is i just kind of assume you're still going to make profit from that sell and then you're hoping it'll go down but if you're in a loss then don't sell because you, you, you're, you're taking a loss so I, would, I did wish that i would clarify that but i mean again if you're unsure don't do anything uh or just buy a little bit uh, video games trending. Mario. Uh, I don't care about Super Mario Brothers. 